Welcome back. Bluff City Grub. Today we're definitely cooking something that's not Bluff City. So, Joe, what are we cooking today? Oh, Greg, um, Donna sent us in some uh, product from outside of the Bluff City area, and we're cooking cheese curds. You cook those? What's a cheese curd? <laughs> it's like a little ball of cheese. All right. We clearly don't know what we're doing. We've made cheese sticks, but we've never fried cheese curds. And the only thing we could do to make them Bluff City style was a local Memphis beer. Memphis beer batter cheese curds. If you've had cheese curds before and you know how to make them properly, just comment below. Because again, we don't know what we're doing. Roll the video. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be making uh, fried cheese curds. Uh, Bluff City. I don't. I don't know where that comes from, but it, apparently a cheese curd is uh, curdled milk. So I'm about to be defrying spoiled milk, which is exciting. But we got a, a cup of flour here, one cup. Uh, we have another cup, a little bit of seasoning over here. We're gonna, we're gonna dump some of these cheese curds into the flour and toss them up. I, mean, I know how to fry stuff, but I don't know about spoiled milk. We'll see how these turn out. Apparently they're supposed to be good. We'll see. Toss those up a little bit. And we also have an egg over here. So we're gonna take this egg, we're gonna throw this bowl over here, one cup of flour, and then we have uh, two tablespoons of seasonal. Boom, we're gonna mix this up. And then we're gonna take one 12 ounce can of beer, and slowly add it to it. How does this make it Bluff City style? Well, we're using Memphis beer. That's about all I can do to Bluff City style this. Just whisk it up really good. It's gonna take a minute. Just slowly add it to it. Did about half the first time. We're gonna add the rest to it. Mix that up. All right, so we got a beer batter here, and then uh, we have our cheese curds and our flour. We're gonna throw a few more in here. Mix those up really good. Get them coated really nicely. I'm gonna throw these in our sifter. Just right there on top. That was a nice little shake. We're gonna throw these in our beer batter here. Mix those up. Just have to make sure you put these uh, cheese curds in one at a time. That's the big thing with them. Because if you don't, they're gonna all seize together and melt together. Just do it one at a time, just take your time. Should you put them further apart in the pot? No, nah, I don't think it really matters as long as you uh, throw them in there separate. Don't, just don't clump them up together. Don't clump them up together. All right, we're gonna let these go for 45 seconds, no longer than a minute. How are we looking, Greg? Look, we're almost there. Another half minute. Right, it don't take long. We're about 45 seconds in on that one. You can see it's already starting to get that golden brown color. We're gonna put it back in. I'd say they're good. They're cheese starting to ooze out. Cheesy. 